Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, long known as a literary haven, Key West, it also serves as a backdrop for some of the world's best mystery stories. Well, for the very first time ever, eight of Key West's leading mystery writers are being collected into one volume. Now, the book is entitled Murder in Key West. This morning, I'm actually joined by one of those eight writers, and he just so happens to be one of my favorite authors authors as well, Michael Haskins. Michael, it's always fun having you with me oh, in the morning. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Now, Michael, let's talk about the book Murder in Key West. Well, it, it's, uh, I'm, I'm honored to be in the book for two reasons, uh, to be recognized as a Key West writer, but using my short story, Murder in Key West, as the, the first story in the title of the book, when Cheryl Rhodes asked me about it. Uh, you know, how could you say no? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And it's, it's, for me, it's interesting because that's the first McMurphy story ever published mm -hmm. back in 2007, I believe. Uh, and, the, and you were right about the, the mystery writers. Uh, Tom Cochran's a friend of mine, uh, Jonathan Woods, Mike Dennis, uh, and, and, and uh, Jessica Aghow. Now, uh, Jonathan, Mike, and Jessica and I are in a critique group. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, there, there's an interacting. It's a small community, mm -hmm. and most of us know each other. It, it, if not socially, at least when you cross each other in a restaurant or a bar to say hi. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which makes the volume interesting. That it's uh, the the collection of people, local people, and yet they're they're more than if you went to New York and did stories on New York. And there, there are some fine anthologies out, short stories of different cities. Mm -hmm. But in Key West, it's, it's, it's personal, mm -hmm. a lot closer personal between the writers and the stories, and, and in Cheryl's case, the publisher and writer. Mm -hmm. And it, it made it interesting. Well, I think it's a, it's a great idea, and you guys are all great mystery writers. You all kind of have your own different styles, too, don't you? Oh, I... I, I <laughs> In the critique group, we mm. do it definitely, and, and <laughs> obviously in the in the book, you go from cozy to uh, genre, you know, mm -hmm. which is is Mike Dennis writes uh, uh, like like a fifties Mickey Spillane type character. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan Woods is strange. His mm -hmm. his stories uh, are uh, a, a macabre in some cases, with a, a very dark sense of humor. Uh, in his novel too, uh, Death in Mexico is like that. Uh, Jessica is experimenting with with her characters and her her style. Mine is more uh, tropically Key West, mm -hmm. and it, it's it portrays the island more openly. And and uh, I hope uh, as it is. And Cochran is is the master in in capturing. The keys, not just Key West, but he captures the keys in his stories. Okay. Well, I look forward to reading it. I haven't had a chance yet, but I will very soon. Well, I, it's obviously it's on um, Kindle or mm -hmm. a number of eBooks, and it's coming out as a trade paperback. So the the few of us that are left that don't read on the computer or right. or eBooks, I'm waiting for that to come out. I've read read the the proofs of it, mm -hmm. but I want a copy of it myself. Okay. Now, Michael, normally when I have you on the show, we always talk about your books, but it was brought to my attention that you actually had experience working with the Oscars. And oh, yeah. yeah, with it being Oscar time, why don't you share about that? Well, um, I, I think the most interesting thing for me on the Oscars are the people you met, and, and it's, it's, they go into the Oscars, they were working on the Oscars in January. Mm -hmm. Okay, or late December when I worked at it, we'd start building them, but ABC doesn't build them anymore. But the interesting thing is, I'd sit through rehearsals from day one when they were, were dressed in jeans to the, the dress dress rehearsal, and everything worked. When the cameras turn on, the stairway doesn't move, a turntable doesn't spin, but the audience never sees that. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't see the hectic uh, activity behind trying to move scenery, which you can't do when the cameras are on, so you have literally a, a commercial. And when you watch in that commercial, you got to figure that behind the scenes there are uh, 30 people moving some big pieces of scenery. It, it's that big, and now that they're at the Kodak Theater, 
it's a bigger theater mm -hmm. uh, than the Dorothy Chandler and, and the Shrine where, where the awards were for years when I was there. But it, it's, it would always amaze me to, to sit and watch a tape of the show after having worked on it and say, you know, it looks fine, but you know, there's supposed to be somebody walking mm -hmm. down that stairway and they mm -hmm. couldn't get up the back mm -hmm. uh, sometimes mm -hmm. because they had something too much to drink or, right. but uh, it, it was a fantastic experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you could always expect the unexpected around all right, the time. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, 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 everything you watched through the rehearsal isn't mm -hmm. what you saw on TV, but mm -hmm. what you saw on TV was always fantastic. Right, right. Always uh, came across good, so that was what mattered. Yeah. Now, Michael, what are you working on next? We're running out of time. Uh, yeah. I've got a book that should be out in it took about a month and a half called mm -hmm. To Beat the Devil, mm -hmm. which is a continuation from Stairway to the Bottom. Mm -hmm. And the... It's in two parts. One part, the character Norm, if they, anybody's familiar with the series, tells a story because Murphy is really messed up after Stairway to the Bottom. Then when it gets back into Key West, then Murphy tells the story. Okay. Well, we'll have you back on soon to talk more about that book, okay, okay Michael? Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> but until then, pick up your copy of Murder in Key West. It's out on Kindle and Amazon right now. Thanks, Michael, for being on the show. I'll be right back after these messages. There is much more to come, so don't go away.